Welcome back to Term 3. I hope that all of our students and parents have enjoyed their winter break and have returned to school re-energised, ready for our second semester. As we're at the midpoint of the year and returning after a two-week break, I've asked our teachers to give our students reminders about important routines and rules. This includes arriving to school on time and being in class ready to learn. This also includes going to the toilet before class, bringing the correct equipment and having digital devices charged if necessary. A reminder that our uniform policy is on the website regarding which uniform items are required. But a couple of little reminders would be that during winter months, students should lay out a uniform to keep warm. Hoodies are not acceptable to wear over or under the college uniform. Rugby tops and spray jackets are the suggested layers for PE uniform, and jumpers and blazers are the year 7 to 12 layers for the academic uniform. Students are also going to be reminded about lesson entry routines. Lining up and entering in an orderly fashion, paying attention to teachers when they require students to focus, and an exit routine from class to help ensure an orderly environment. During Term 2, the Labour Government announced a funded project for Hazel Glen College to develop additional hard court spaces for our students to use for sporting and physical activities. Lauren Cathledge, the Yanyi Member of Parliament, visited the college last term to officially announce the project. The college will now work with the Victorian Government to plan this project and hope that this can tie in with our short-term plans to redevelop the senior school oval surface. After our school review in Term 1, the college leadership has been working on analysing how students move up through the college and the impact of transitions. As such, we've spent several months analysing student survey data across the past few years. This includes student academic data, student voice to add to this from some select groups, as well as both staff and parent surveys that have addressed transitions within the college. The proposal is that in Year 5 in 2024 and Year 6 in 2025, it would be taught in a primary school model. This would mean a singular teacher classroom like our current junior school and use of the junior school oval for recess and lunch. This will hopefully allow a greater opportunity to keep our students in a primary school type environment. However, as a K-12 school, we will look to keep many of the exciting options, such as food technology, science labs, the production and our academies as a few examples so that our students can benefit from being in a K-12 school. I'd like to thank all of the parents who have contributed to the surveys that were sent out last term. They certainly provided a really rich response and were very favourable of the move to a primary model. This term there are many key events coming up. We'll have the 100 days of prep to celebrate early this term. Then please get planning for book week on the 21st of August as we ask the whole college to show a love of books and readings and dress as their favourite characters. Our year three and four students will be away on camp this term and I know that there are many very excited young campers getting ready for these experiences at camp with their friends. Our production, Aladdin, will be on the 24th and 25th of August at Plenty Rangers Theatre in South Morang. Please look out for tickets as they will be on sale soon and it promises to be another great performance. Our House Performing Arts Days will be at the end of term and are always great fun and an opportunity for students to get involved and perform or cheer on their friends. And then parent-teacher interviews, followed by Footy Day, will wrap up the term on Thursday 14th and Friday the 15th of September. I look forward to seeing you at many of the events across this term and wish everyone an exciting time ahead.